All right, so I wanted to show you maybe a combination of sort of the naming and listing operation and then a color thing. So my goal is to color control the color of all the circle ones at once. Um, so I can quickly change those without having to manually select them like I showed you from these guys. Um, and so if we take a look at this group guy, it's going and getting the groups, right? And, and we don't we don't need this right now. And I've pulled out a couple of other um, nodes, the match text, the disp dispatch, and a panel that goes into the match text. And so the nickname is going through and giving us text strings for the names of these. And so what I want to do is I want to match the text with anything that has a C in it. So this asterisk is a wild card, so anything that has a C if I push this nickname into here, right, um, then anything that has a C, if I do a panel here, will come out as a true. So you should see the first false and then all the other ones true. So it says, yep, those have a C. And then if you have a dispatch, what you can do is you can take this pattern, this false true true pattern, put it into the pattern here, take the entire list of groups and use this to sort of filter it. This is basically a little filter that we're using right here. So if I come in and plug the groups into the list for the dispatch and then take the match and plug it into the dispatch pattern, what you're going to get in list A is the circle ones, right? So it's going to have the four circle ones and then list B is going to have the false, right? So list A is going to be the circles and list B is going to be the false. So that means we could come in and instead of using this get select object one, let's say we wanted to make those all the circles yellow, right? We could just take that group and put it in here, right? And set those and you can see now all those are set to yellow. So let me delete this guy. And then you can control right the color of this guy so if we want it to be more purpley right like that and you can just dynamically control all the circles at once so that's a little bit different way of doing it as well and you can use this sort of this is this sort of filtering pattern um, you probably will get used to you can use it with points and um, XYZ values and all that kind of stuff as well. And so a lot of times really the idea behind it is that you have a big group of objects, you get what's called a, a Boolean mask, so it's either a zero, one, or a true, false, and then you apply that to a particular node that has a pattern. So you have coal pattern, you have dispatch pattern, you have other pattern based nodes and then that will take that list and split it into two that are based on this true false. Alright.